very poetic that we're doing this on 9-11, 13 years ago today. We saw our country come together after a big tragedy. It's not just tragedies that can bring a community together. And what we're hoping is with this event, this being the first time, we do it this every year, and this be becomes the beginning of something where the community is coming together and more and more to make this place a, a, a better place. Really impressed to see so many different organizations represented out here. Uh, the different sweatshirts and t-shirts I see, it's really nice to see that. With the Razzle Dazzle and the uh, uh, ZB football, the, the Pee Wees out there, it's really nice to see you guys. I also want to thank everybody that's put a lot of time into putting this event together. Uh, particularly, I'd like to publicly thank Kirk Henderson from our agency that put a lot of time and effort to represent the police department and put this together for us. One thing that I found very unique about Zion in the 28 years I've been here is we always come together in times of adversity. We've been forced into the spotlight uh, in the media on several occasions in my 28 years. And instead of fracturing and falling apart, uh, this community has come together and supported its police and fire departments tough times and, and I just want to say thank you. Um, I think it's a really good testament to Zion that uh, we don't fall apart in adversity, we come together. Uh, this event would not be possible without the vision of one special individual who had this idea and made it happen through hard work, determination to see this community as it truly is, a great place to live with exceptional neighbors. Deputy Ke Chief Kirk Henderson is a great partner to work with. The police department and the Zion Park District are extremely happy with the great turnout that we have. Yeah.